Hi viewers. Hi viewers. How are you? Today I have prepared the most frequently asked top 100s Python interview questions and answers that will help you to prepare for the interview questions on Python that an interviewer might ask you during your interview. In this list of Python scripting interview questions, I have covered almost all commonly asked basic and advanced Python programming questions with detailed answers to help you in order to clear the job interview easily. Further, this detailed guide of Python coding interview questions will help you to crack your job interview for Python programming. So in this video, you will be find such as basic intermediate and advanced Python interview questions and their answers for fresher and experienced candidates in order to prepare for the upcoming interview. Also to let you know that this is the first part of the series of top 100s Python interview questions and answers. The other parts will be available soon or check the description of this video. Before we deep dive further. I requested you to subscribe my channel, like this video, and share with your friends. So let's start from the first question. What is Python? It is a general purpose computer programming language. It is a high level, object oriented language which can run equally on different platforms such as Windows, Linux, Unix, and Macintosh. Its high-level built-in data structures combined with dynamic typing and dynamic binding. It is widely used in data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence domain. It is easy to learn and require less code to develop the applications. Python was released in 1991 and created by Guido Van Rossum. Python is widely used for mathematics, system scripting, server-side web development, and software development. Why Python? Python allows a developer to write programs with fewer lines than some other programming languages. Python runs on an interpreter system, means that the code can be executed as soon as it is written. It helps to provide a prototype very quickly. The Python interpreter and the extensive data standard library are available in source or binary form without charge for all major platforms and can be freely distributed. Python can be described as a procedural way, an object-oriented way, or a functional way. Python is an interpreted, object-oriented, high-level programming language with dynamic semantics. Python is compatible with different platforms like Windows, Mac, Linux, Raspberry Pi, etc. Python has a simple syntax as compared to other languages. What are the applications of Python? Python is used in various software domains. Some applications areas are given below. Web and Internet Development Games Scientific and Computational Applications language development, image processing and graphic design applications, enterprise and business application development, operating systems, GUI-based desktop applications. What are the advantages of Python? Advantages of Python are object-oriented. Python allows to implement the object-oriented concepts to build application solution. It has built-in data structure. Tuple, list, and dictionary are useful integrated data structures provided by the language. Python is interpreted language. It does not require prior compilation of code and executes instructions directly. It is free and open source. It is an open source project which is publicly available to reuse. It can be downloaded free of cost. It is extensible. It is very flexible and extensible with any module. Readability. High level language. Cross platform. Python program can run on cross platforms without affecting its performance. What are the famous web frameworks of Python? Python provides various web frameworks 
to develop web applications. The popular Python web frameworks are Django, Paramid, and Flask. What is the difference between Django, Paramid, and Flask? Flask is a micro framework primarily built for a small application with simpler requirements. In a Flask, you don't have to ex use external libraries. Flask is ready to use. Paramids are built for larger applications. It provides flexibility and lets the developer use the right tool for their project. The developer can use the database, URL structure, templating style, and more. Like Paramid, the Django can also be used for larger applications. It includes an ORM. How is Python interpreted? Python language is an interpreted language. Python program runs directly from the source code. It converts the source code that is written by the programmer into an intermediate language, which is again translated into machine language that has to be executed. And what are Python decorators? A Python decorator is a specific change that we make in Python syntax to alter functions easily. What are the tools that help to find bugs or perform the static analysis? PyChecker is a static analysis tool that detects the bugs in Python source code and warns about the style and complexity of the bug. PyLint is another tool that verifies whether the module meets the coding standard. Explain how to delete a file in Python. By using a command os.remove file name or os.unlink file name. What are the rules for local and global variables in Python? Here are the rules for local and global variables in Python. Global variables. Those variables that are only referenced inside a function are implicitly global. Local variables. If a variable is assigned a new value anywhere, Within the function's body, it's assumed to be local. What is the difference between X range and range? X range returns the X range object, while range returns the list and uses the same memory, and no matter what the range size is. What is the negative index in Python? Python sequences can be indexed in positive and negative numbers. For positive index, 0 is the first index, 1 is the second index, and so forth. For the negative index, minus 1 is the last index, and minus 2 is the second last index, and so forth. Why negative index are used? The negative index is used to remove any new line spaces from the string and allow the string to accept the last character that is given as s minus 1. The negative index is also used to show the index to represent the string in correct order. What are the different file processing modes supported by Python? Python provides four modes to open files. The read-only, write-only, read-write, and append mode. R is used to open a file in read-only mode. W is used to open a file in write-only mode. RW is used to open in reading and write mode. A is used to open a file in append mode. If the mode is not specified, by default, file opens in read-only mode. Read-only mode. Open a file for reading, it is a default mode. Write-only mode. Open a file for writing, if the file contains data, data would be lost, other a new file is created. Read-write mode. Open a file for reading, write mode, it means updating mode. Append mode. Open for writing, append to the end of the file, if the file exists. What is doc string in Python? A Python documentation string is known as doc string. It is a way of documenting Python functions, modules, and classes. Explain slicing in Python. A mechanism to select a range of items from sequence types like list, tuple, string, etc. 
is known as slicing. It is beneficial and easy to get elements from a range of by using sliceway. It requires a column which separates the start and end index of the field. All the data collection type list or tuple allows us to use slicing to fetch elements. Although we can get elements by specifying an index, we get only single element whereas using slicing, we can get a group of elements. In Python, what are iterators? In Python, iterators are used to iterate a group of elements, containers like a list. Why lambda forms in Python do not have statements? A lambda form in Python does not have statements as it is used to make new function, object and then return them at runtime. What is zip function in Python? Python zip function returns a zip object which maps a similar index of multiple containers, it takes an iterable, convert into iterator, and aggregates the elements based on iterable past. It returns an iterator of tuples, signature, zip, bracket start, iterator 1, comma, iterator 2, comma, iterator 3, and so on, bracket close, parameters, iterator 1 comma iterator 2 comma iterator 3 colon these are iterator objects that are joined together return it returns an iterator from two or more iterators point to be noted if the given lists are of different lengths zip stops generating tuples when the first list ends it means two lists are having three and five lengths will create a three tuple Explain namespace in Python. In Python, every name introduced has a place where it lives and can be hooked for. This is known as a namespace. It is like a box where a variable name is mapped to the object placed. Whenever the variable is searched out, this box will be searched to get the corresponding object. What is dict and list comprehensions are? They are syntax constructions to erase the creation of a dictionary or list based on existing iterable. What is Python path? Python path is an environment variable which is used when a module is imported. Whenever a module is imported, Python path is also looked up to check for the presence of the imported modules in various directories. The interpreter uses it to determine which module to load. How can you access a module written in Python from C? You can access a module written in Python from C by following method. Module is equal to py import underscore import module bracket start inverted comma start less than sign module name greater than sign inverted commas close bracket close semicolon mention the use of the split function in python the use of the split function in python is that it breaks a string into shorter strings using the defined separator it gives a list of all words present in the string explain python functions a function is a section of the program or a block of code that is written once and can be executed whenever required in the program. A function is a block of self-contained statements which has a valid name, parameters list, and body. Functions make programming more functional and modular to perform modular tasks. Python provides several built-in functions to complete tasks and also allows a user to create new functions as well. How many types of functions in Python? There are three types of functions. Built-in functions, user-defined functions, anonymous functions. What is built-in functions? Copy, len, count are the some built-in functions. What is user-defined functions? Functions which are defined by a user known as user-defined functions.
what is anonymous functions these functions are also known as lambda functions because they are not declared with the standard def keyword what is the difference between remove function and del statement the user can use the remove function to delete a specific object in the list if you want to delete an object at a specific location index in the list you can either use del or pop point to be noted you don't need to import any extra module to use these functions for removing an element from the list we cannot use this method with a tuple because the tuple is different from the list if you have multiple memcache server and one of them fails that contain data will it try to get them the data in the failed server won't get removed but there is a provision for auto failover which you can configure for multiple nodes failover can be triggered during any kind of socket or main cached server level errors and not during normal client error like adding an existing key etc